I feel like I'm on top of the world. Hey, Jack, I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> Want to take it from the story just so we all know where we are? Oh, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. That's how we lost our first, our first okay, fortune, that's okay? That's how we lost our first fortune. <laughs> <laughs> And even when I'm nowhere near water, I still wear my decor. Decades before decor was even invented, people still thought of decor. That Barton, he's crazy. I like that man. Here we are in the Titanic makeup room, and the first step in making up the first class women is removing their beards and mustaches, which are stored on the wall so that they can be returned to their owners at the end of the day. Little realizing the months of effort by thousands of workers that went into the making of these two hours of entertainment. Come with us to Hollywood. The studio is a beehive of activity. After months of research, the final draft of the scenario is written. The casting office engages thousands of players. Costumes are designed and miles of materials are used in their creation. Blueprints are drawn for the settings. Machinery hums in the huge mill, and a thousand and one other important details are carried out before the big day when production actually begins. Then, we find ourselves on a soundstage where Cecil B. DeMille, the director, is making a last-minute survey of the set. Er, uh, Mr. DeMille, if we're not too presumptuous, would you mind explaining just what you're doing with those gadgets? You know, this isn't a fantasy, this is history. We spend thousands and thousands of dollars on research. We comb the museums of the world. B! 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 What's that spell? <laughs> Five cappuccinos in what three months? Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, just watch your final height so you don't get into the flags behind Jonathan's head. Otherwise, it's more work for Rob, even though I don't care. Stand by, everybody. Because we know we have money, we have lots of money left over. Everything's going like butter, everything's just smooth Constantly as can be. Line. Yeah, it's just, I've never been on a job where everything just went like clockwork like that. It's amazing, right? It is, it is startling. I, I don't even know what to do. I mean, and Fox doesn't want the money back, you know? They've already allocated it for the movie. They're, they don't want any more cash back. So orphanages, they get to, they get to benefit by our good, our good fortune. I am the Cracker Jack man. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Right up. What do you think? Should we do another one? On Monday, I'm ready to go we over. have good weather. We have good weather. We will be on either the bow or the A-deck promenade port. Scene 72, the bow 94, 96, <laughs> which will come right back here to the port boat deck. Scene 161, 165. Okay, boat deployments, Murdoch, where the passengers, etc. If we have inclement weather, we will start with scene 80 on stage two, which is Kate joining Julio for the rendezvous for the party. Then we'll go down to 292. Kate comes down and rendezvous with Heaven Titanic. Okay, we all clear. Now, Jim, all the boats here. Not to the side. Here we are on the bridge of the set of Titanic, and down here there was just quite an altercation. Jim got so upset with a cast member 
that he turned on his freezing rays and shattered him. But that wasn't enough. He's now scattering the remains all over the forward well deck. Start the swimmers swimming.